I want to look at gender bias in parenting. Gender bias in parenting. When I talk about gender bias in parenting, I'm talking about parents looking at a particular gender, uh, taking care of one gender more than the other. So what am I driving at? The girls are giving more attention than the boys. We don't want this bias. We don't want this uh, kind of parenting. We want a parenting style where every child in the home is well taken care of. Every child can be vulnerable in their own skin. Every child can um, act the way they, they can act and be corrected in that same level. Every child should be disciplined. Every child should have rules. Every child should follow a structure. That's the kind of family parenting style that we want to look at. Why do we have this bias? Why this bias that I want to talk about? One is because of tradition. Traditional gender rule. The tradition, most traditions, look at the boys as an exceptional people. They look at them as independent. They look at them as tough. They look at them as people who should not show emotion and that emotion is a sign of weakness and that toughness should be carried uh, by men. That is why such parenting bias happen in most homes. So, can we correct this bias? Yes. Let's not look at what society says. Let's not follow the societal rules in taking care of these boys. Let's throw away the uh, traditional gender rules and let them to be who they want to be, whether vulnerable, whether weak, and see ways we can help and correct them. Two, Emotional and physiological impacts. Emotional and physiological impacts. That the male folk, the boys, should bottle up their emotion. He said, don't show emotion, you are a boy, you bottle it up. That's what's happening in some homes. That's a kind of parenting bias when it comes to the boys. So, let's allow them to show emotion. They have psychological needs. They have physiological needs. They have issues. They need support. They need a helping hand. Let's be there for them, okay? Um, let's allow them to ease stress, ease anxiety. Let's not put more pressure on them because of how the society look at the agenda. Sometimes in the family, they lack support. This gender lacks support. He said, leave him to go hungry. He's a boy. He can take care of himself. Who said the boy is not hungry? The little food in the house, you share it for the girls. And you allow the boy, because he's the tough gender, he should go fair for himself. As much as you have the means to fair for all of them, please do. And don't discriminate a particular gender and give that gender more rules to carry out. Let them do what their capacity can carry. Don't over label them. Don't over um, expect so much from them. Let them be the child they are. There is, there is every activity for every stage in life. Not because they are a particular gender, they should go ahead and take care of themselves and be independent at a very young age. No, we don't advocate that. In sex education, we want you to carry both gender along. Okay, so please be a support system in the home for them. They need support. Okay? Allow them to express how they feel and give them such support. And please gender equality again. I have been repeating this because I have been looking at the boy child on my videos this week gender equality if you are a parent please give attention to both gender 
educational wise financial wise emotional wise support wise whichever way you want to support your children give it to both gender then balance parenting balance parenting don't let them feel neglected don't allow the boys feel neglected don't allow them see themselves as unworthy don't allow them see themselves as too tough to be cared for they allow them to see themselves that they can't be vulnerable around you. They allow them to see themselves that the society expects so much from them. Allow them to be who they are. Allow these young boys to grow up naturally. Don't impart the baggage we carried on them. Allow them to be themselves. Balance parenting in both sides. You want to give education to the girls? give education to the boys. If you want to give education to the boys, give education to the girls. You want to provide financially for uh, the family, let it be equally for the children, whether boys or girls. You want to give discipline, let it cut across. You want to put family rules, let it cut across. Treat all of them in their own special way. Everyone is special in his own skin and everyone is special in his own way. So allow them to be themselves. Let's try to balance parenting. This biased way of parenting, putting pressure on the boys, neglecting them, we want to put a stop to it. Let's be a proper guide. Let's try as much as possible to balance equation. Be there for both gender. You are their parents. If you are an adult or a close family member, they are equally important to you too. And as much as the girls are important, the boys are important. Both gender should be a favorite gender to you. So please, let's not neglect one and favor another. I'm talking about gender bias in parenting. I look at the traditional gender role. I look at the emotional and physiological impact on the boys. I equally look at lack of support system on the part of parents on their boys. I look at gender equality, uh, gender inequality, and then finally, balancing parenting. So try as much as possible to balance your parenting. Okay, so we create family-oriented content. Our teenagers are a priority, our families are a priority, all of you are a priority. We want these young ones to grow to be better individuals. We want them to uh, be able to be, uh, to be able to impact their world, pass on good values to the next generation. So please, let's see ways we can help in every way possible we can. Whether we are parents, whether we are caregiver, whether we are instructors, teachers, well-meaning adults, please see how you can do your best. I'll see you in the next.